Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10 Developer Beta 8 or Public Beta 7. They're basically the same, same build numbers, just one number off from the public and the developer beta. So this particular beta was pretty small, came in at 27.4 megabytes. The version number is 14A5346A, and this particular version comes out one day after Apple released 9.3.5 for security. Now we're not sure if that's what's actually being updated here in the back end. In fact, their notes don't tell us that, but that's what I would suspect. Being that it was such a small size, it actually came out a week after the previous beta for iOS 10 and a day after 9.3.5. We're wondering if it patches the issue. So I'll cover those in a second, but let's go over what else might have changed. Now fast animations are still here. Everything seems to work really well. Uh, apps open quickly. And this is an iPhone 6S Plus. Haven't had any issues as far as speed goes, anything like that. It's going to be hard to say what battery is since you have to give that a few days usually. Now, there are seven pages of known issues as far as the developer notes go, but there are no bug fixes, no changes, anything that Apple lists specifically. So they're dwindling down their known issues. They used to be larger than that and they're really getting rid of that, which is nice. There is unfortunately so far no night mode that's new, no new wallpapers, and the lock sound that was there before, let me see if you can hear this, I'll turn the sound back on. Let me lock it. Other than the changes as far as the lock sound goes, there really isn't anything physically that you can see. I actually searched all over the internet, saw what other people found in forums just to see if anybody had found anything because I searched all throughout it and couldn't find any tweaks really to anything. And with such a small install size, that's kind of what I suspected. Now, the other thing though, I think what they're doing here is patching the update that they did for iOS 9.3.5 with the security vulnerabilities. And I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. Uh, where I go over those in detail, but basically those particular vulnerabilities, I think is what is being patched here that allows basically someone to execute malicious code or basically malware through a link on your phone. So I'm not sure if that's what they patched or not. No one has officially said, and it's not in the notes whatsoever. So with this current timeline, it looks like Apple may release one or two more betas before the gold master, probably one before the gold master. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll see the gold master, which is basically the finalized version, unless they find something else wrong. And then we'll see the final release after the Apple announcement. So usually the day of the Apple announcement, they do the gold master version. And then a week or two later, they'll have the final version along with OS 10 or actually now Mac OS Sierra and watch updates and all those things later on. So if you haven't downloaded this already and you're wondering if it's stable and can you use iOS 10 daily, right now it seems that you can. And when it's time to update to the final version, usually if you're on the public beta, you can just do it through over the air updates. Sometimes when you're on the developer beta, you have to do it through the computer. So I can't say for sure or for certain on the developer beta, but usually on the side of the public betas, you can just do it on the phone itself. If you guys have found anything specific to this that I haven't mentioned though, please let us know in the comments below. I always leave a link to this wallpaper in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in that, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.